Hello dear students, in trick number 176, I am going to continue one more important problem which comes in competitive exams concerning the important topic of compound interest. Now in this trick, I am going to take a particular type of problem in which we are given a particular principle that is the amount invested. The rate of interest will be different for different years like we have r1 that is the rate of interest for the first year r2 the rate of interest for the second year and consecutively we can have three years also so in such cases we need to find out the compound interest so i'll take one example here say the principal amount is rupees 80000 and it is invested for two years compound interest but the rate of interest for the first year is 3% per annum and for the second year it is 4% so now I need to calculate the compound interest so in such cases the amount is obtained by multiplying the principal with see the rate of interest for the first year is 3% so what you do is just increase 100 by 3 that is 103 so 100 plus 3 gives you 103 so 103 upon 100 and for the second year the rate of interest is 4% so just add 100 with 4 you get 104 so 104 upon 100 and this is the single calculation you have to do for calculating the amount. Now again here you can use Vedic mathematics tricks. Say we have four zeros already cancel out. So we need to just calculate 8 into 103 into 104. So I have already posted so many videos on multiplication tricks in which you can multiply numbers close to 100, 1000 in a single step so if you are aware of those tricks you can multiply 103 and 104 very easily otherwise you can use traditional method so for this i have already calculated the product of these three this is 85696 now this is the amount received so obviously the compound interest will be amount minus principal so we just need to subtract the principal amount that is 80000 from the amount so your answer will be rupees 5696 so you see single step and you obtain the compound interest for the two years period take one more example say we have now the principal amount is rupees 2000 and we have now three years different rate of interest say we have in the first year the rate of interest is lesser say suppose 2% in the second year it is 3% in the third year it is 4% I am just taking one hypothetical example so that you understand the method so we need to calculate the compound interest obtained after 3 years so here the principal amount is 2000 so amount will be obtained by 2000 100 plus 2 102 100 plus 3, 103 and 100 plus 4, 104 so 3 zeros cancel out so you have in the numerator 2 into 102 into 103 into 104 upon 1000 so here also you can multiply using the Vedic method you can verify the trick which I have given for multiplying number close to the base quantities using Vedic method so for this I have calculated this product for you so to save time 2185248 is the required product and just divide by 1000 so you get 2185 point this is rounded up to 2 decimal places 25 so this is the amount obtained so the compound interest will be amount minus principal 
so if you subtract this amount and the principal 2000 you get the answer as rupees 185.25 so this is the compound interest which is received after the end of 3 years so you see one simple concept and we will be able to solve these type of questions at class 7th 8th level also this method can be used and for competitive exams obviously we can save a lot of time by using this method so learn these methods and come out successfully in competitive exams and keep loving and sharing the videos if you like it